knowing who's developed an immune response to the virus is really an important component of our public health response to this pandemic, allowing us to better understand the transmission characteristics and knowing how many individuals have actually been infected versus um, who maybe didn't develop symptoms and how this percentage of individual change, individuals changes over time. And then on a more uh, patient uh, by patient basis, an important component of these serologic tests is identifying individuals who have antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 would make them eligible to donate plasma, which can then be administered to sick individuals to help fight off the infection. Because we've really only been dealing with this virus for four or five months, we don't have a good sense of the duration of that protective immunity that you're talking about. Um, I think we can say that based on prior studies during the SARS outbreak in the early 2000s, we know that protective immunity against that virus, which is closely related to SARS-CoV-2, um, that protective immunity seemed to be detectable for about two years after infection. And then there's been some preliminary studies in, um, in monkeys su suggesting that they have at least short-term immunity one month after recovery of, from COVID-19. Um, so data are emerging, and um, I think, you know, as these, as we see more and more information, I, I, I think there will probably be at least some short-term Im immunity, um, but we really need more studies in this area before we can make any conclusive comments on the duration of that protection from reinfection. These individuals that are positive for antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 or, or to COVID-19, while I think they're likely at lower risk for reinfection compared to an antibody negative individual, we still really don't understand or know the level or the duration of protective immunity um, that these antibodies give us. So I think antibody tests will ultimately be another tool for risk management and, and risk assessment as we develop plans to get everyone back to work. Uh, but right now, Given what we know, I would be cautious against relying solely on a serologic test result to guide these decisions um, and, and these recommendations. We actually have a testing capacity of approximately 10,000 antibody tests per day uh, between our internal Mayo Clinic practice and, and the external Mayo Clinic reference laboratory practice. Um, so that's quite a lot. <laughs> um, and really, I think as the need evolves and, and um, increases, we do plan to be able to meet that need and increase our testing capacity um, uh, as, as appropriate.